Hey, Whizbang Retailer. This is Bob, and I have a question here from Brenda. It's on our Facebook page, and it says, Bob, any opinion on using companies like Groupon to drive business into a boutique? And uh, Brenda, if you know me, you know I usually have an opinion. And my opinion on Groupon for retailers, especially like businesses like a boutique or businesses that sell primarily products, not services, that Groupon is not a good deal for you. Uh, you know, experience is starting to show that the people who shop on Groupon are looking for bargains and a, 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 a very, very low percentage of them are becoming regular customers. You know, that's what Groupon is selling. They're selling, you know, the, the fact that when, you know, that Groupon will drive them into your store or into your business, they'll use your service and then they'll become regular customers. What they're saying is that you're going to lose money on the first transaction, but you're going to make the money back through lifetime value of a customer. But it's just not playing itself out that way. So if you're in a boutique, if you could buy incredibly intelligently and find somebody at rock, some, uh, an item at, at a rock bottom price, perhaps it will work out. But in general, those aren't the people you want in your store. You want people who love you for who you are and are willing to pay for what you buy and the experience, I mean, for what you buy and the experience that you provide. Now, having said that, there is occasionally a great opportunity in, in Groupon. We have a client who has a stained glass studio and she offered uh, jewelry making classes. That's what she sold on Groupon. So instead, so what happened was the people had to come into her store. They paid for the service, you know, the, the, the cost of goods that, uh, in compared to the price of the class was very low because people were really paying for the service, not the goods. And she had a very, very successful experience with it because a lot of people signed up and a high percentage of the people who buy the offer don't show up for the offer. And because they were serious about something, they weren't there just there to get the deal. They were there to actually participate, to do something, to build the jewelry in the class. She also managed to turn people into regular customers. You know, my brother Steve, who now owns uh, my old company, Mac Kite, it was Mackinac Kite Company, he's renamed it Mac Kite. He sells uh, stand-up stand paddle boards, and he's used Groupon uh, to sell stand-up paddle board lessons. And so again, he's got almost no cost of goods. He's got the stand-up paddle boards already. He's giving the lessons already. There's a fairly high no-show rate, and he gets cash up front for it. Uh, so for him, it's been a great, great uh, a great deal. And he was just telling me recently that a, a woman who has a kayak uh, rental place around here, town came around here, came to him and asked him about Groupon. And she did the same thing. Again, there's no cost of goods involved. She already owns the kayak. Uh, so she's making money and there's a high percentage of no-shows. And so Steve uh, jokingly said, uh, you know, if it works out for you, I owe you lunch. And she came back and said, Steve, I owe you dinner. It's been a huge thing. It's been really, really good for me. So with all of these things, be careful where you go. But Brenda, in general, Brenda and all of you who are looking to maybe build some sales and looking for some quick cash from Groupon, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, it's not just Groupon. It's Living Social. It's all those uh, deal uh, companies. I'm uh, urging you to tread, tread very, very lightly.